Former record executive Suge Knight suggested that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce was triggered by Lopez's appearance in tapes the FBI seized during a raid on Sean Diddy Combs' properties. Knight believes the FBI allegedly handed Ben Affleck tapes from the raid that implicate J-Lo in questionable activities. Jennifer Lopez and her management team were reportedly on high alert holding crisis talks to strategize in case she gets entangled in the ongoing criminal investigation surrounding her ex, Sean Diddy Combs. In a shocking twist, Suge Knight reveals that FBI FBI tapes linked to Sean Diddy Combs could be the reason behind Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's breakup. J-Lo's team is in crisis mode as the investigation heats up. Jennifer Lopez is reportedly furious and feels humiliated by Ben Affleck, who has suddenly slowed down the divorce proceedings with J-Lo. Apparently, it's been dead silence between them. So what caused all this in the first place? Well, new report saying it's the Diddy tapes. In a shocking turn of events, Ben Affleck finds himself at the center of a drama involving his ex-wife Jennifer Lopez and her former flame, Diddy. Signor now, take this with a grain of salt because the source is Mr. Suge Knight. Uh, in his Collect Call series, he spoke about the fact that he believes Ben Affleck divorced J-Lo. The reason this all happened so quickly was because the FBI gave Affleck tapes of J-Lo from after the Diddy raids. Now, from a timeline perspective, it's not that far off. It's possible, however, obviously, we have no proof of this. This is a theory. According to sources, tensions have escalated between Affleck and Lopez, primarily due to his sudden hesitation to finalize their divorce. It seems Jennifer is feeling both furious and humiliated by Affleck's actions, which have left their communication at a standstill. Uh, let's listen to what Suge Knight says, and then we're gonna give you an update on things, and I'm gonna tell you why I actually am humoring this theory, because it could be possible. Here's Suge Knight. They go raid Puffy's house and they get all these videos of J Lo doing this and J Lo doing that. And they know the fact that J Lo lied and said that the gun was shined or whatever and sent that man to prison and destroyed his life. What adds fuel to this fire is the alleged involvement of Diddy. Insiders suggest that Affleck may have received incriminating tapes related to Lopez from the FBI, stemming from a previous incident involving Diddy. I'm quite sure they probably called that the FBI gave the a cursed call of being Affleck. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. Now, He's a white man who's got respect in a white world. Would the I mean, would the FBI really call and risk all this? Maybe to get J Lo to sweat. Honestly, it's possible. So they say we want to show you some things. This is about your wife. When he sees this situation is not just about Affleck and Lopez, it also affects their families. The couple had planned to blend their families, which included their children. However, Lopez's frustration seems to stem from a feeling of betrayal. Yeah, I heard what Puffy was doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure. They gave his ass those tapes. And I'm quite sure he can never look at her the same. I'm quite sure her. They had for a divorce. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a man who had a good life. Great parents, don't spend a lot of money, ain't tripping off paparazzi, he's living his life. He got his, he got his own team. As reports indicate, Affleck recently purchased a new home, seemingly moving on while the divorce remains in limbo. Sources claim that the couple hasn't yet engaged lawyers, opting instead to have their business managers handle the financial details. She didn't bring all the extra that month. He won't out. He keep he stayed married to the channel, he'd be broke. Instead of just doing movies, he'd be doing yum yum donuts commercial. Next thing he'd be doing is Jack-in-the-box commercials. <laughs> uh, it's it's possible. Look, it's from Suge Knight. He's bitter. Obviously, he's out there in prison. But the man does have some knowledge. And I can't completely negate this theory. While the tabloids spin their theories, one thing is clear. Both Affleck and Lopez are dealing with heavy emotions. As rumors swirl about Diddy's role in this saga, fans are left to ponder whether this chapter will end amicably or if there are more dramatic twists ahead. A Benefer update. I've got some good news and some bad news. Let's start off with the bad. Last night, Jennifer Lopez 
had another movie premiere that Ben Affleck did not attend. And he didn't even have a good reason. Where was he instead? Hanging out with his homies. Affleck went out to dinner with some guy friends at Giorgio Baldi, Rihanna's favorite restaurant in Santa Monica. The latest update on Benefer brings both exciting developments and some concerning news. To kick things off, it appears that Affleck missed another significant event, Jennifer Lopez's movie premiere. Now, this is neither good nor bad. It's more of an observation. We all know that Ben isn't a premiere, red carpet event kind of guy. Jennifer is. It's not his kind of thing. But if he wanted to send a message loud and clear, he would have gone. However, and here is the good news. While J-Lo was promoting Atlas, again, at another premiere. Instead of supporting his wife at the premiere, Ben was spotted enjoying a night out with friends at Giorgio Baldi, a restaurant famously favored by Rihanna. While some may see this as a harmless outing, it raises eyebrows about his commitment. After all, we all know red carpet events are Jennifer's forte, but Ben's reluctance to join the limelight could signal deeper issues. He was out to dinner and he was wearing his wedding ring. So that's a positive. Do you think these two are gonna make it work? Let me know in the comments section. However, it's not all doom and gloom. While JLo was busy promoting her new film, Ben was seen wearing his wedding ring during his dinner outing. This detail shines a light on their bond, suggesting that despite their differences, he's still committed to their relationship. Is this a sign that they are working through their challenges? As the public watches this unfolding drama, the big question remains, can Ben and Jennifer navigate these troubled waters and find a way to make it work? As the tension with Diddy looms, only time will tell how this love story continues to unfold. Jennifer Lopez and Ben are reportedly taking a second to figure things out amid relationship tension rumors. Jen may Ben do a paparazzi walk where they are together. He showed the paparazzi his phone that said Miss Jennifer Aniston, right? And then turned around and did his own paparazzi stroll with no ring on his finger. You guys, on top of that, and this is the thing. Recently, reports surfaced that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are taking a moment to reassess their relationship amid swirling rumors of tension. It's said that they might attempt a public outing together, but Ben was spotted without his wedding ring, sparking further speculation. Critics are questioning why Ben seems to be enjoying the spotlight while making J-Lo look foolish. I don't understand why Ben is getting off on making Jen look like a fool. And I don't care what you guys say, if you see Ben Affleck, he looked like he on that Zuza again. He looked like he zoning. He looks like everything. Jennifer Lopez shut a reporter down when they tried to ask him out. You know better than that. Jen, you can't hide from this. However, they're saying that his old demons are coming out amid the tension. The same way he blamed Jennifer Garner for the reason he relapsed. Sources indicate that Ben's past struggles are resurfacing during this tumultuous period, mirroring the issues he faced during his marriage to Jennifer Garner. Many wonder if he is unfairly shifting blame onto Lopez for his ongoing challenges, similar to how he previously blamed Garner for his own mistakes. This pattern raises eyebrows about his accountability in relationships. When he got caught cheating, and she couldn't take it anymore, and she decided to divorce him, is the same way now he's gonna play him relapsing on J-Lo? Okay, it's always a woman that gotta save Ben. But get this, this is the part I would've been fuming. Oh, on top of that, if you guys haven't, if you missed my videos, let me catch you up. They're also saying that Jennifer Garner blames J-Lo's daughter 
and the influence JLo's daughter has, who is in the point of transitioning. Emmy is in the point of transitioning. Adding fuel to the fire, insiders reveal that Jennifer Garner has expressed concerns over the influence of Lopez's daughter on their kids. She's reportedly worried about the impact this friendship could have on her daughter's choices. Such accusations of blame seem outdated and reflect a lack of open-mindedness in co-parenting dynamics. They're blaming her for Jennifer Garner's daughter deciding that she's transitioning too. They said the two girls are super, super tight because they're taking this journey together. However, Jen Garner blames JLo's daughter and the influence for messing up uh, Ben's oldest daughter's uh, head. Jen Garner has been like, I don't want our daughter around her. She's a bad influence. And that's one of the reasons why Ben moved out. Despite Garner's wholesome image, she's not without her own controversies. A previous encounter with actress Regina King showcased her defensive side, indicating that beneath the surface, there might be some unresolved issues. It's evident that the complexities of their relationships extend beyond the public eye and into personal rivalries. Interestingly, Jennifer Garner is said to be encouraging Ben to work on his marriage with Lopez. This is a baffling move, considering her history History with him and the emotional turmoil that came from their own separation. Speculation arises about whether this support stems from genuine care or a desire to see Ben struggle. Because Ben kind of feels that same way too. And if it is, that is messed up, baby. Don't blame Jennifer for whatever's going on in your household. And that's nothing to actually, like, are you serious? What year are we in? And then you can, like, honestly, the fact that they could be that close-minded about a situation with their children is wild to me. But let me just say this, right? And it needs to be said. On top of that, I do, you know, here's the thing. I think because Jen Garner has that whole granola mom, doesn't wear makeup, really humble. Everybody thinks that Jen Garner is super, super sweet. Let's not forget when Jen Garner got mad because Regina King was on the Actors' Roundtable. You know Regina King from 227 and um, I Am Legend. She's been in everything, actually. You all know who Regina King is. And she was like, you know, like, a lot of people aren't from L.A. And she wasn't even saying like that. She was like, you know, a lot of people aren't from L.A., but one thing that's surprising is I'm from L.A. So As Affleck grapples with marital difficulties, it's reported that he has temporarily moved out, leading to questions about their future. J.Lo's career is in full swing, but it seems that Ben feels overshadowed by her success. The contrast between their professional lives has put a strain on their relationship, echoing past patterns. Jennifer Lopez broke up with my man and was dating Ben Affleck less than nine hours. <laughs> And talk about how they rekindle, but, but they don't see the impact on how that does to the society. TK Kirkland discusses Jennifer Lopez's surprising decision to leave P. Diddy for Ben Affleck, shedding light on the complexities of relationships in the spotlight. His insights reveal the drama and unexpected twists that define celebrity romances. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are J-Lo, it looks like this is going to be a messy divorce, and it looks like you and Ben are going to make it messy. You guys, if you don't know, there have been rumors sur surfacing that Ben Ben is very, very disgusted by what's going on with the whole Diddy trial. After the Cassie video dropped, Ben was like, yeah, that's it. And he wants to cut ties. Go watch my old video of that. On top of it, people are saying because the feds may have questioned J-Lo about what happened during her time with Diddy. And it's not that J-Lo might have actually done something wrong, more to the fact that, you know, Ben and his Bostonian Southie South. Did Diddy play a role in the shocking divorce of Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck? Rumors swirl as the former flames are re-examined, with fans speculating about the impact of past relationships on their present. The drama unfolds. Ben Affleck has just been spotted leaving the separate home he now lives in, separate from Jennifer Lopez. So he's living in Brentwood. We're kind of connecting the dots here, and it appears that J-Lo and Ben are not together right now. It's unclear if they're maybe going through a break. Is Benifer on the rocks? Rumors swirl about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's relationship status, leaving fans wondering if this iconic couple can withstand the pressures of fame and family. You look in the ocean, you mm -hmm. see two people floating. Oh, shit. You can only pull up one because that's how much room you have on your raft. 
You look in the ocean, you see Ben Affleck, <laughs> and you see Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> J to the L O give me five. Hello, I'm just Big joking. Boy TV. Ben, She's serious. Me, you know I love you. She's coming on that rap no, by just, herself. It was a <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be floating in with to Bo like, hey, you won't believe what was in that ocean, baby. It you know crazy. what I'm saying? Like, uh, and then she gonna be at the services like this. I don't know. This In a playful scenario, Jennifer Lopez faces a tough decision. Save her ex-husband Ben Affleck or music mogul Diddy while stranded at sea. Who would she choose? The answer is sure to spark curiosity and debate among fans. Like, is not nobody noticing that? That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But Diddy says she was perfect. Diddy's the only one that says she was a great girlfriend and how he wish he hadn't messed it up. How is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship but everybody else ran for the hills. <laughs> In a captivating clip, Jaguar Wright discusses Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's relationship, delving into their dynamics and why they make an intriguing couple. Get ready for some surprising insights that will leave you eager to hear more. All Jennifer Lopez had to do was marry a white boy, uh, you know, Oscar winner, for people to stop remembering that she had a gun in her pocketbook. She had gunshot residue on her hands. In a captivating revelation, Jaguar Wright discusses why Jennifer Lopez remains silent about Diddy. Her insights dive into the complexities of their relationships, leaving fans intrigued and eager to uncover the truth behind this unexpected dynamic. Jennifer is who told Puff to work with me. Jennifer Lopez. Puff, Jennifer was telling me, yo, he is dope. You work with him. Like, he's gonna, it's gonna... Eventually, it's going to happen. In a surprising revelation, 50 Cent claims that Jennifer Lopez played a crucial role in encouraging Puff Daddy to collaborate with him. This unexpected connection sheds light on the influence of celebrity relationships in the music industry. 